is a control application with National Instruments Compact DAC and LabVIEW. In just a moment we'll get into how to set up this application and LabVIEW graphical programming, but before we do that I'd like to describe the hardware setup for you. What we have here is a small battery powered fan and this fan is going to blow against this deflector. What we'd like to do is modulate the power of the fan to control how much air is hitting the deflector. Then we'd like to control the actual position of the deflector itself. So to get this done, we'll need to do a couple things. One is first we have to be able to change the power of the fan itself. The way we're going to do this is we've taken a power transistor and we've inserted it in between the batteries. We have to be able to control the power of those batteries to the fan through that transistor. So we've taken an analog output channel on the C-Series 9263 analog output module and this is a four channel analog output module. We're just using one of those channels and we're going to use that then to control the power transistor which will modulate the fan itself. Then we need to actually go and monitor the deflector position as well. The way we're going to do this is we have a strong powerful magnet at the bottom here that's coming up against a Hall effect sensor that's in this plastic block. The Hall effect sensor will change its voltage value with the amount of magnetic field that it's encountering. Now we're powering the Hall effect sensor with this battery bank right here. That changing voltage of the Hall effect sensor will be monitored by the C-Series 9215. This is an 8-channel analog input module in Compact DAC. So that's our hardware setup. Let's go ahead now and program our application in LabVIEW. First thing we'll do is on the front panel, we'll put down a waveform chart. So we'll drop the waveform chart and we're going to go ahead and scale this thing to go from 2.5 to 2.8 we've just determined those values experimentally. Another thing we'd like to do is not auto scale, so we'll turn that off and then we'll go and expand our legend a little bit so we can have a couple traces and we're going to set the line width on this as well so that you can see them better in the video. So we'll just set those up. Next thing we'd like to do is put a slider on our front panel. This is going to allow us to set the requested angle or set point for the deflector itself. And we're going to go ahead and scale this to the same levels that we put on our waveform chart. So when we're done with that, we'll go now to our diagram and we'll begin to program the application. The first thing we would like to do is monitor the position of our deflector. So we're going to get the DAC assistant, we're going to drop it down, and we're going to set this up to do an analog input task. So we'll acquire signals, analog input, voltage. We'll take it from our 9215 module, and that's analog input channel 0, which is this channel right here. Now we just need to tell it to acquire one sample on demand. Everything else is fine by default. And what we'd like to do is test this out. So let's actually go and run it. We'll click the Run button. We see that we get 1.6 volts in the resting position, and if I move this a little bit, you can see we're up to 2.6, 2.7, there's 2.4, 2.3. So now we verify that we can actually read the position of our deflector. So let's say OK and accept this and we'll put it in our diagram. Now that we've got both our slider input coming in and also our analog input coming in, let's go ahead and wire those up to our waveform chart. And those are the two things that we're going to see on that chart when the program runs. So we'll clean that up and that's pretty straightforward. Next thing that we'd like to do is analog output. And our analog output is going to allow us to control the fan motor through that power transistor. So we'll drop this down and it'll bring up the assistant that says generate signals in this case, analog output, voltage, and we'll choose our analog output channel, which is this channel right here on our C-Series 9263 module. All right, in the same way we'd like to just output one sample on demand, that means every time the software iterates we'll get one sample or one update. And let's go ahead and output two volts and see if our fan turns on. So sure enough our fan turns on and the deflector moves. Let's output three volts and see if we can increase the power. And sure enough we can. Let's output one volt. This ought to bring it to almost stopped. So it lets it off and you see the fan slow way down. Let's output zero and that should stop it. And it does. Let's say OK to this function and let's put it on our diagram. The only other thing we really have to do now is put our control in between the analog input and the analog output. So the control we'll choose is PID. 
National Instruments has a great toolkit for PID that extensively lets you utilize that function. We're just using a simple user-defined PID in this application. We're going to bring up the help window so you can see how we wire it. First thing I would like to do is take that slider and wire it into the set point terminal. So we'll wire that up and we're good there. Next thing I'd like to do is take the analog input which is telling me where the deflector is and wire that into the process variable input of the PID function. So let's go ahead and wire that into the process variable input and we're good there. There's a couple other things we need to set up for PID which is the min and the max value and I know that the maximum output that I want to output to the power is 5, 5 volts, so we'll put 5 there as the constant. Then I want to create a zero constant for the minimum, and that'll be zero, and we're good there. And then what I would like to do is allow us to control the PI and D as variables from the front panel. So we're going to create controls, and they'll all show up on the front panel that we can change while the program's running. And then we want to take the output of PID, and we want to wire that over to the analog output, and that'll control it. So if we do a control U, this will clean up nicely. And what I'd like to do is put a loop around this so that it can run over and over again. So we drop down this while loop. We'll create a control for the front panel so that when we hit the stop button, everything can stop. But the last thing I would like to do is copy this analog output task, and I'd like to put it outside of the loop. And then when I hit the stop button, I want this to output a zero to the power of the fan that will shut the fan off. And in order to make sure this happens after the program runs, I'm going to wire the error out through the loop into the error input of the analog output task. And that's going to make sure the order of execution happens such that we shut it off once the loop finishes. Let's go to the front panel now and let's set up some values for the P, the I, and the D. So the P showed up at the top of our diagram here. We're going to put 0.5 in for that value. Down below, the I showed up, and that's going to be 0.5. And then let's set uh, D to 0.01, some small value. We're ready to go ahead and run this. Let's move our slider to an initial position of about 2.5 or so. Uh, we'll hit the Run button, and this will take off. And our fan goes and it turns, and it begins to drop power, and we can see that it comes in, and it's going to oscillate until it can find that set point, but it zeroes in on the control. Next thing that we'll do is we'll up to a 2.6 set point and we'll see the control respond and it brings our deflector up to that position. You can see that our deflector here is moving nicely to the position that we described on our slider. Let's go to 2.65 now and we'll see that the power increases to match that next value and it holds it pretty nicely there. Now if we hit the stop button, in this case, it will go and it will shut off the fan and our deflector returns back to zero. So this is an application that shows how to use LabVIEW to do closed loop control. And this is how you would do control with National Instruments, Compact DAC, and LabVIEW.